Sub people, it's the one with more solo leveling, Arise content. A few days ago, we looked at the best SR characters. And as promised, today we're looking at the best SSR characters. So without further ado, let's get it. Welcome to the pinnacle of Gotcha Gaming on YouTube. Okay, so the first SSR character that we'll be taking a look at is Min Byung Gu. Uh, and the reason why he is the or one of the best SSR characters in the game is because he's the only SSR hero that we have in the game right now. Um, and why? And even though that like you can you can play the game without having a hero or uh, a healer hunter in your roster, um, having a healer like Min Byung Gu definitely makes the game way way easier. Like. It makes content clearing so much more easier um so that's why he's on this list um uh, and he also does have some insane insane healing um and not just healing he has some really nice damage output as well um and he even out out damages like other s s tier characters um based off his, off of his damage so he's he has insane healing and He's also does a lot of damage so like what can you you can't ask for more than that from a healer um so yeah we'll, we'll go over his skills real quick um so yeah so his basic attack is judgment of light and he, he deals um 7 72.83 percent of the user's max hp as damage and that's one thing his damage is going to be based off of his um max hp so uh, a really good artifact to wear to put on him is definitely the noble sacrifice and obviously chase the um, HP percentage um, substats on that of course um, so yeah let's go back into skills so yeah deals light damage and then his core attack right here holy mace uh, it says here that he attacks the enemy by powerfully striking down with his mace uh, deals 219% uh, of the user's max HP um, as damage and deals light elemental damage. Uh, and when the last attack in the combo hits, he actually knocks down the target. And it says here, when disguised, the user's damage is increased by 50%. Okay, uh, let's see. And what disguise does is disguise basically decreases damage taken by 50% um, and enhances specific skills effects and when hit removes disguise so basically disguise basically reduces that the, the, the half the damage that you take so yeah that's pretty much what disguise does right there and it lasts 10 seconds but once you get hit yeah that, that you, you you lose the um you lose the buff um, so yeah, there you have that. His, that's his core attack. Then his basic skills. His first basic skill is Light's Glimmer. Uh, here he attacks the enemy and recovers allies HP by unlocking the power of light. He deals 259.39% of the user's max HP. Uh, cooldown 8 seconds. MP consumption 168. Um, and he also, when the last attack of the combo hits, he knocks down the tiger. So as you guys are seeing, he does a lot of knockdown effects which is really nice so it gives him space to heal and obviously cast his skills um so as they say when the skill is used the user's entire team recovers hp equal to 0.63 percent of min Byung Gu's max hp every second for 10 seconds uh and when the user is disguised the recovery rate increases by 100 percent so that's really nice so as you guys can see so even his healing scales off of his max hp so all you want on this dude is max h is, is a uh max hp so you want to increase that you want, you want to increase that so he can increase his healing and his damage uh then his special skill his support skill uh Byung, Byunggu attacks the enemy by creating a divination circle with his mace and he grants additional effects to allies uh he damages his damage is 97.11 percent of the user's max hp 25 second cooldown uh, and when the user uses this skill it applies the hp continuous recovery effect that recovers hp equal to one percent of the max hp every second for 10 seconds to the entire team and he also knocks back enemies with this as well 
and when the skill hits he applies punishment which increases damage taken onto the enemies so this is very nice if you want to um use this, this this um special skill then you can switch it switch out into one of your, your damage dealers on your on your in your party um to deal increased damage so he's a really nice really nice healer um here we have divine punishment is it's his qte skill uh he attacks enemy with multiple flashes and divination circles 250, 256 of the user's max hp is damage uh and when this skill is used the user's power gauge recharges by five percent and then his regular ultimate skill heavenly blessing um he summons a large circle of light and grants additional effects um he applies sorry he does he does 362 percent of the user's max hp is damage uh and the users the user applies heavenly blessing effect to the entire team and what heavenly blessing does is the damage you deal and the critical hit rate increases by 12 percent so this would be a really nice uh with uh what's her name chahein Hain, Hain, i think that's yeah, that's how you say it apologies if i'm mispron mispronouncing it guys but um uh with her kit she's going to be dealing a lot of critical hit and critical damage um so pairing her with uh, Byungu would be really nice as well so any unit that does uh crit damage Byungu, Byungu is definitely a uh, support that you want to bring uh so yeah so heavenly blessing to the entire team and when the user is disguised it imply it applies the critical hit damage increase effects to the entire team so the entire team is going to get that critical hit damage uh which increases equal to 40 percent of the, of the amount that exceeds mingu Myung, 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 Min Bong Yu's uh basic critical hit damage for 12 seconds okay so there you have him insane support and i mean insane support all right so the next ssr unit is emma laurent so what well, you guys have already noticed instantly she's a fire type unit and she's a tank but what's very ironic and it's very questionable in this game is that some units will have certain job classes like tank or mage or you know what i mean or for for example with, with uh Byung-Gu, he's a healer but he actually does a lot of damage um so like this job class whatever is very very confusing sometimes like with emma lauren he says she's a tank but she's actually more of a d of, of a dps unit as uh, she does a lot of dps with a lot of cc and burn in her kit and all of her attacks also do breaks uh so she's good at opening the fight um uh, and breaking down enemies so yeah we'll look at her skills real quick so let's go over here so this is just look at it we'll just look at it maxed um so pretty much her basic skill, her basic attack is called sort of revenge and she thrusts sharply towards the front with a rapier causing flames to erupt and withdraw before she steps back and it deals fire elemental damage and light break damage okay then her other basic attack core attack is flare strike it says here she channels the energy of the flame and stabs powerfully with a rapier doing 1165.5 percent of the user's max hp as damage and that's another thing guys she scales off of max hp so all her damage so you want to build her with lots and lots of hp so the the um, noble sacrifice set that we looked at earlier um is, a, is another great set that you'd like that you'd love to put on her as well to increase her damage um so yeah she does that deals fire elemental damage which is nice uh light break damage and when the last attack in the combo hits airborne effect and she also burns the target as well and the burn does 17.7 percent of her hp every three seconds and the duration 30 seconds so you guys can see does lots of damage fire cc damage damage over time airborne effect yeah she is nasty uh, and i regret not pulling for her earlier i went i just i, I went for a uh, big yun ho because he's just one of my fit more favorite like characters in the actual manhwa and in the i don't think he's been in the anime yet but in the manhwa he i, I love i love him a lot so that's why i summoned for him and emma laurent is an original character so i there was no real incentive for me way back then to um pull for her but now she's added to my wish list um so yeah next we have where is it well her first basic skill called burn up and he has a break on this and emma moves quickly in a zigzag path towards the front creating flames in her wake and damaging any untouched enemies 1165.5 percent of the user's damage fire elemental damage 
8 second cooldown, medium break damage, and when the last attack hits, airborne, and she also burns the target. Um, yeah, and when the user attacks burning the target, the damage increases by 10%. <laughs> okay, so this basically means that, sorry, the skill doesn't burn the target, but when you use this um, skill burn up on a burning enemy, the damage on this skill increases by 10%. Sorry for that. Um, so here you have Flame Cleave. The, fl the user stabs three times in front of herself with a rapier. Basic skill has a break. 1165% uh, of the user's max HP. Cooldown 12 seconds. Deals fire elemental damage. Heavy break damage. And when the last attack hits, airborne effect. And if you use this on a burning target, um, the damage increases by 10%. So as you guys can see, the the damage on these two skills here is going to be increased by 10% if you attack a burning target. So, um, who, the next another SSR character we'll look at later, Cho, uh, Troy, Troy Jong In. Um, he pairs very nicely with Emma as he also does a lot of CC and burn. So, you want to pair Emma with burn units. Uh, okay, so next we have her first special skill, Roaring Flames. It's a support skill. And since her rapier imbued with the energy of flame, Emma stabs continuously and powerfully. 1140% of the user's max HP. As damage, cooldown 25 seconds. Fire elemental damage. Medium break. With the last attack hits, airborne effect. And when the skill is used, applies the heat absorption and heat emission effects. Okay, so heat absorption. What this does is it increases her defense by 7.7%, making her more tankier. And the user recovers HP equal to 7.7% of the damage taken. And that lasts for 20 seconds. Uh, sorry, the duration is 20 seconds. Uh, then heat emission increases the defense penetration by 7.77%. And the user's fire damage increases by 7.77%. And that lasts for 20 seconds also. Then her QTE skill, um, Flame Judgment from the air. Emma stabs the enemy violently from the front. 1165% of the user's max HP, 20 second cooldown, uh, fire elemental damage, light break damage, and when the skill hits, it burns the target. And and yeah, and then we went over the burn effect um, already. So that's her QTE skill, then her burning pride. Uh, this is a regular ultimate skill. Uh, as Emma contains the flame energy rising from a focal point, then summons a fire clone in front and releases it. The damage is 2,332.5% of the user's max HP, 45 second cooldown, uh, fire elemental damage, and it says here, while heat absorption is active, the user's damage increases by 33.33% and they are refunded 50% of their power gauge and cooldown time, which is really nice. And while heat emission is active, the user's damage increases by 77.77%. So yeah, that's that's Emma Laurent, insane, insane um, tank. Well, like I said, she's not. She says it says she's a tank, but like as you guys read her kit, it's nothing but insane damage, nothing but insane damage. Um, so there, there you have it. That is Emma Laurent. The next, real quick, we'll look at Choi Jong In, and i wasn't a fan of i'm not i wasn't a fan of his character in the manual so i haven't summoned for him even though i have nearly, nearly like 200 uh raid up tickets saved up um in this game since since it's 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 really a single player game there's no co-op really in this game i'm only summoning for characters that you know characters that i enjoy playing and characters that i enjoyed from the manual or in the anime so I was, i'm not a big fan of his character so i was like yeah i won't summon for him um so yeah yeah so yeah that's why i don't have him in my possession right now but yeah Choi jong in so he, he what, what can i say about him he's a fire elemental unit and he's a mage um and he's the best mage dps in the game with a lot of cc in his kit very good for comboing enemies and dealing with um lots of packs of enemies so he has lots of aoe damage in his kit and also his single target is also really good as well um, and he's, like I said earlier, he's very good, um, especially if you pair him up with Emma Laurent as she does more damage on burned enemies and he does a lot of burn as well in his kit, which we'll look at now. All right, so let's take a look. So his first basic skill um, is called Spark um, and he deals 237% of the user's attack um, and deals fire elemental damage. His other one, his core attack is Blast. It says here he attacks the enemy by detonating the ground in front of him. 
925% of the user's attack is damage, uh, fire elemental damage, and when this hits, he's going to burn the target and inflict the airborne effect. Um, so that's really nice. His first basic skill, Rain of Flames. Um, he attacks the enemy by firing multiple summoned flame bullets uh, forward. So you can look at that there. Um, that's that. And also, uh, it does 2,115% of the user's attack. Um, 15 second cooldown, fire elemental damage. And when this scale hits, it gets that airborne effect, which is really nice. Uh, the next is all the basic skill, Flame Spear. He attacks the enemy by continuously summoning flame spirits in front of him. 2,115% of the user's attack as damage, um, fire elemental damage, and he does he gets airborne as well. Um, says here fire barrage support skill. Says here Jong In attacks the enemy by summoning multiple flare, flame spirits at once. 1,630% of the user's attack as damage. And when this skill hits, it knocks down the target and it burns the target and applies defense uh, decrease. So that's what you get. You get a, a, a three three CC right there. Knockdown, burn, and defense decrease. That's really really nasty. Then his QTE skill, Celestial Fire Dragon. Jong Yin attacks the enemy by summoning a burning dragon. Uh, that sounds cool. Let me just show you guys real quick. I didn't do this for all the characters, uh, just so the video isn't so long, but yeah, there you have that. Um, so as you guys can see there, he summons a massive dragon. Um, and when this uh, attack hits, he gets airborne effect on the enemy and he burns the target and applies the defense decrease. So that's really nasty. I, like you guys are seeing why he's an insane, he's an insane unit and the best unit in the game. Um, lots and lots and lots of damage, lots and lots of CC. And he scales off of his attack, which is really nice. Um, as that's very as that's easier to build, um, rather than another character like Big Yun Ho. Even though he's one of my favorite characters, he's harder to build for because there's no really set artifact that that, that you can build because he scales off of defense. And right now you can only build there's only attack sets. Uh, obviously, obviously there's a load of sets, but the only like certain like specific stats. That you can get boosted is attack and hp to my knowledge with the noble sacrifice increasing your hp and with this increasing your attack uh, sorry with the black i think the black lion set increases your attack so he's so so cho jing cho jong in is very easy to build uh, since we have that um artifact available to us in the game um and but with bake yun ho there is no defense increase uh artifact that you can specifically get a, a, a boost in your defense for having two piece or four piece um but yeah that was a tangent apologies guys but here we have his ultimate skill end of days jong in attacks the enemy by summoning a large burning spear from the sky 3243 percent of users attack as damage 45 second cooldown for the deals fire elemental damage and when the skill hits it inflicts the airborne effect so, so yeah that's really really nice so those are the best SSR characters in the game in my opinion and in the in, in the opinion of many other um, players of the game uh, so Cho Jong In, Emma Laurent um, and Min Byung Gu those are the those are the top three uh, SSR characters in the game in my opinion if you feel free to disagree if you do uh, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to leave a like in uh, on the video. Do does help me out and does get the video boosted in the algorithm. Right now, YouTube is messing me up and not not showing my videos to my subscribers and to um, just in just in the algorithm in general. Uh, so it's kind of messing me up right now. But I'm trying to fight through it. Uh, so, so liking and subscribing does help out. Um, so yeah, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, um, all that good stuff. Take care and peace, guys. This is Eskador, the Lion Sin of Pride from Seven Deadly Sins. Thank you for watching the Pinnacle of Gotcha Gaming on YouTube. The One.